ya bet na sa wa fi di kesi yeso na maybe maybe it should bring finality to the argument say mpp ya ban ba ye ye nye she as far as infrastructure ye concern and the baby use our platform we am a Ghana for na baby obi a wo okay ehun say Ghana for e di sell to me no de ma aye na na do dan kwaku fo do issues of infrastructure as far as education ye concern ye bi now i will start from a year how are you double track okay the lazy thinking and the lazy idea from the ndc say double track no ye buy a bit trim ye be cc a yes a school dying and sign a double track no it is because they don't even understand what we call the free senior high school education and much sure the country free senior high school education i had the commitment of the new patriotic party since 2007 and now 2018 no? Yeah, the bad because we believe, say, one, a your constitutional mandate, and two, every Ghanaian child, as per the constitution of this country, our right to say, or minor and denial education in this country. Now, so our say, our queen, and also our right say, this nation cannot deny you education. There, then the implementation of free SHS no here. Now, you implement here the first year, new year, no, yeah, because you can't you know, say the numbers. Have increased. Now, best now increasing because now a lot of people are going to school in 2012, 2013, 2014 because a best mark and then I fail to put them into consideration by giving them strategies a bit more because every year near Memu Hayati as a nation about 100,000 of our young men and young women no more to go school largely because of poverty. And the, the implementation of free SHS in my numbers in the course room. Mm. Now, of course, we you know, we realize say we cannot leave any child behind. In to me, I say, young man, sir, banting a fee. Now, coffee man, sir, body on obey to me, I go school. So we implemented the double track system. Double track system no was implemented because there was lack of infrastructure projects. Lack of infrastructure projects, you know, it is something I be inherited from the NDC government. Because a school done or what? Say you can go down a door soon. Say give me post your matum. But I'm not buying it. Say I'm not. In fact, the green book is done. I'm not. The normal be brave. But to tell me, I'm not. The pictures I can see. This is good. I'm not see. In fact, they promise this country. So I'm not see 200 e blocks. At the time, I'm not moving. I'm not. The normal is not new 30. But here by one of the things I hear the PR unit of the Ministry of Education. Yeah, yeah. In collaboration with all the team, I hear them say we have put out a figure. In anticipation, say you better eliminate double track, mm. and that figure is 804 projects. Ah, yeah, yeah, across the country. Ah, dear, back course, you know, say there's a difference between a thinking government and one who just want to make any decision because of politics. And until now, obi or person or your politics can no, or your busa say, oh, by a chairman, senior high school, but what see that is lazy man thinking. A lazy man's thinking because who to me could see and now to me could be a senior high school for fro. Well, bro, the existing ones now, you can improve them because of the numbers I had ever. And that is why we said, say, we did um, a nationwide needs assessment. And there be a poku worry. Almost be a muhia assembly block. Said Hubert Seminary. A muhia dining hall. Prempe College. A muhia classroom block. Kumasi Anglican. A muhia way. And based on the needs assessment, and they constitute that 804 projects across the country. So when you go to most of the senior high schools today, and you Vincent mm. Nekan, if you TV, you take your cameras and go to those schools, you will see that indeed, they are quite a number of schools, sir. You just see a year dormitory blocks at their mom. Because you can have a school, say, you or more classrooms, you know, 85, 1,000. But dormitories, you know, 600. So what it means is that the school is now under capacity or it is underutilized. Because classrooms, 5,000, but dormitories, you know, 600. It is the government's duty to say, I didn't think you could raise the number of dormitories. Say there be a classroom, you know, about a thousand. Now dormitories, so a thousand. And that is why, yeah, this are 804 projects now. Mm. So the 804 projects near Jabano, when you go to every nook and cranny of this country, at least every region that I can boast of, your yeah, projects are equal to dormitories, assembly halls, 12 unit classroom blocks, 6 unit classroom blocks. Um, and what have you had done in halls and the provision of certain things a bit with benches and what have you and the way when it comes to infrastructure i think we have done enough and if i have time 
Because where a secondary school do, we now call even basic school. Because you call basic school here in the When you check the um, the book that I have here, mm. where any green book, where any green book, okay, where mm -hmm. no, it comes with digital addresses. Mm -hmm. And you, know, you see, it comes with digital addresses. And I'm telling you why. Yeah, the any different. Uh, different because say Obo a year twelve unit classroom block at Huni Valley Senior High School in Pristia Huni Valley. Mm -hmm. The digital address you know, will take you to that school. <laughs> so what I say. In the Huni Valley for per the needs assessment here here say Omo here a year twelve unit classroom block to be able to show up the numbers there and yes you see that. Or these classroom blocks at the Amomo. We will share dormitory block at Takradi Senior High School in Second Day Takradi. We are a dormitory block at Takradi. Okay. In fact, also I share school bit is a academy, um, Academy of Christ, Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. We will see a 12 unit classroom block at Yesu Honum, at Ghana Fobihu. And anybody in Cape Coast or in the central region can attest to the fact so that we are doing this thing. Okay, these ahead. are not mm. entirely new senior high schools that we are building because we believe say there are some new senior high schools even in the country so as senior high schools you know it is not even uh, being utilized because ndc focus you know at a place that were not in use or they, they can't um, um be in use the mm. make a for example drobonsu senior high school for two good years the ghana education service has been struggling to ensure that that school is utilized. Why? Because it has been put in the middle of nowhere. Because people cannot commute. And they also fail to add a boarding facility. Here by the boarding facility, that we can say infrastructure project. No, in the way I just for senior high schools. If I have the time, I will go through basic basic education. I will say, I will build 350 senior high schools in my first 18 months. Nana Aradankwa Ekufuadu. All right. Uh, but when you wash up, you must remember. Run away from him. You must remember. But you must remember. My opinion is that Now, you are the one who is going to be 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 the to constructing 350 senior high schools. John Bodu and so Edia and also Edia by Indian. I say, Vice President Dr. Mamoudou Baumia also promised that the NPP plans to build 350 senior high schools. Addresses supporters of the NPP in Perisi in the West Central constituencies or uh, in the constituency in the Upper West region. Baumia said, educational infrastructure will be put in place to address the challenge. Sir, in Semi Amaka and Pedifomi in saying, the statement of Bumui. Yes, please. Who shared the MPP's manifesto? Mm. The policy document that is guiding the four year mandate of the MPP. Mm -hmm. There is nowhere that you find this statement in. Mm. Wow. And I'll challenge you. This is a big platform. This is UTV. I am challenging him to prove. No, I the me can free a pause.com gh ah, date no 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 mpp manifesto aha and no be so so e wa ha second february uh, 25th february 2019 kojo ivano mpp as a party okay never promise anybody never promise the people of ghana say yeah the schools e ba say schools e ba be see 350 new schools no we never say that and indeed as i've already challenged you the mpp's manifesto never talked about any buildings that are supposed to be happening in this country that are supposed to be 350 no like in the senior high school yeah in casa in the mpp's manifesto and i challenge you if you can mm. prove because i'm sure the, the only evidence are the the Paul's Ghana, uh, but that cannot be the mpp's a uh, uh, friend is a uh, policy document i mean they can not be a good policy and that's a mm. good source for us what is the good source for us at ghana for in finland or the maya or the baby general so a boy at is the mpp's manifesto okay. and in 20 20 December 7th. Mm. Before that time, you know, the MPP can go to the people of Ghana and show them all these infrastructure projects. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it is because, as a thinking government, you don't necessarily have to think, say, hey, your schools are okay, see the full front, any here, Debbie. Okay. It's about CCA in Pim Pim. A dear now, but over 100,000 young men and women who are supposed to be sitting home. Ah, I'm going to school. No, what's your mama? Because 100,000 each year. Multiply by 10 years. What it means is they say you have had one million 
young men and young men in this country I went to my uncle's school. We know end this way almost there because women him say Sebio, Sebio, Sebio. The 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 more I'm crying for, end to me who are there no. And they be almost to me stay in power. And that is why they have always been resisting a year free senior high school education. All right. Me da say, oh, I'm convinced. And I say no. And can I check my message? I'm going to call back.